Hi ACCA students, this is Tashwita Gupta, your FR and ACBR mentor at WIFI. So today I'm here to address a very hot topic that is ACCA in Canada. Yes, you heard it right. So why not in UK? Why not in Australia, Ireland, blah, blah, blah. Why only Canada? Because we Indians literally are crazy about Canada, aren't we? So many students out there were questioning me that, ma'am, what is the scope of ACCA if we go or if we have plans for future immigration to Canada? So let me first tell you that previously we were having an MOU signed, that is Memorandum of Understanding between ACCA and CPA Canada, specifically CPA Ontario. That's a province in Canada, right? But now that has expired. There you needed your bachelor's plus your ACCA qualification, that is full uh, 13 exams completed, plus your bachelor's, and then you were converted into CPA Canada as it is. There were just two exams, overview of Canadian tax and uh, you can say some laws. So that was only the process. But fortunately or unfortunately, now that has been written off, it's expired, and it's no... Uh, possibility that it will be anytime renewed very soon okay it can be but right now all the people who are immigrating they're immigrating on the basis of their bachelors or just on the basis of ACCA and not on the basis of CPA Canada that means they got it converted into CPA Canada now there are many people out there who are saying that you can come to Canada and do CPA Canada which is true but what is the process like is it that some college is offering CPA Canada where we will apply after ACCA? Like myself, I didn't have a bachelor's when I completed my ACCA. I was still in the first year of my college and I didn't have the bachelor's yet. So that is why I was not able to convert my ACCA into CPA Canada back then when the MOU was there. So now if I take my case, if I want to go to Canada and I want to apply on the basis of ACCA, then I'll have to choose some good PG diploma. That means uh, some universities, they don't require your bachelor degree. If you have completed nine exams of ACCA, that is enough. So if you have completed nine exams of ACCA, you can directly apply to the Canadian university. Uh, one example is York University, a very reputed one in Toronto, right? So you can apply there directly and you can uh, earn your PG diploma. And that PG diploma is basically a basis towards CPA Canada. Now, let me give you clarity here as well that in Canada, there are many PG diplomas like some are eight months, some are one year, some are two years. So what is it? Is it a special route for ACCA people? No, it is open to all PG diploma in accountancy. Anyone who's having a bachelor's can apply to that course. So can you. So it's not a special thing that ACCAs are getting in Canada because of that. But yes, if you don't have a bachelor's just on the basis of nine exams, few universities will apply you or will allow you to apply into the PG diploma. Now, when you get into that PG diploma, you can actually pursue your CPA together with it. You can get your internship starting at dollar Canadian dollar 40,000 uh, per annum and Together with the PG Diploma, you can also enroll yourself into CPA Canada. Now, when you enroll, will you get any exemptions on the basis of ACCA? The good news is yes. So now we cannot get fully exempted as an ACCA, but we will submit our profile to the CPA Canada body, whichever province we are into. So if you are in British Columbia, that is Vancouver, Surrey, all those places, and you have to uh, just you know submit your ACCA documents directly to them and they will review it and tell you at what level are they placing you. So mostly the people who are ACCA members and they have a bachelor degree as well, that is a BCom or any commercial bachelor degree, they will place you at level two, where there are a few exams that you have to give. But again, as I said, that would be on case to case basis. Maybe they will also consider your work experience, right? So that is what Canada has to offer. It's not that you will have ACC and directly you will going to, uh, you're going to start CPA Canada you have to enroll into a PG diploma first. That's the academic course because you have to go on study permit. If you are thinking of getting in PR, that is also possible, but that, that is uh, applicable to all. Yes, ACCAs are immigrating just like chartered accountants to Canada on the basis of PR. But again, you should have good work experience, full-time work experience, 
and you should have good points for that immigration. So I'm not a good person to comment on that. Uh, you should approach some good immigration officer. But as far as ACCA is concerned, I would say that yes, ACCA has a good scope. If you go and get an internship, if a normal person with a bachelor's, with a BCom, he's going into a PG diploma in Canada and you being an ACCA are going into the PG diploma in Canada, you both apply into a firm for your internship as you are also pursuing CPA Canada along with it, then of course you will get an edge because you have the knowledge of golden, golden ticket that you have in ACCA that is IFRS. That's what I teach you, right? So IFRS all over the world are very important. So because you will have that, that is the reason why ACCAs will have edge when they're getting into the jobs. Apart from that, ACCA for Canadian immigration for PR purposes is considered equivalent to four years bachelor. Okay, it is not equivalent to a master's as it is in UK, but in Canada, it is equal to four years bachelor. So many students in Canada itself are doing ACCA and CPA together. Yes, I know many students, I've taught them personally, but that's what I'm saying. ACC is a global qualification. If as of now you're not sure where you want to immigrate with ACCA, by the time you get that maturity, by the time you get that enlightenment, if you complete your ACCA, you will have your doors open for each and every country. So that is what ACCA has a scope as in Canada. And if you want me to list down some courses that I personally saw, then the best one is the uh, PG diploma that is diploma in accounting program in University of British Columbia, so the School of Business, the best one out there. Then you have one in York University and there are many like in Douglas, uh, there's a PG diploma, there's a PG diploma in Langara, there's a PG diploma in KPU. So based upon your profile, you can go for n number of colleges, but I would suggest first of all apply to the best ones if you don't get a reward from there then you can go to the others so that's it guys from my end for today if you want further new updates about acca in canada because i've done an extensive research on that so if you want more information if you like this one video please do comment down and let me know i will keep you updated and keep on telling you more and more about this so all the best guys i hope this was helpful